Let's go to the game Paperboy. I played this game a lot when I was a kid. Paperboy? Nope. All right, show. We got a video or something? Yeah, this is Paperboy. This is so fun. This is such a fun game. This is what you had to do one day tomorrow. So you ride this bike and you got to throw papers in the mailbox or on the door. And you got to avoid stuff like this dog's about to run out. Watch out! Let's see if this dog, the dog comes out. Nope. It's a higher level. Oh, the dog comes out on the higher level. You gotta watch out for guys on their uh, big wheels, fire hydrants, those can hurt you. Ooh, he just hit something. Oh, oh my gosh! He's making it. Who's playing this? Who's playing this? This should be a missed a lot. Somebody bring like a Nintendo 6 There's a dog! It was a burglar! He's trying to hit the burglar. Oh, look at those guys fighting! Behind me, we have a, a mock game of paper boy. So I need paper boy. Paper boy. I'll be there. Paper girl. Paper I can do it. 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 Here's what we're going to do. Where's the papers? There, there they are. All right. All right, I need, um, somebody has to be the skateboarder. Chase, not you. We just heard about your skateboarding story. Who wants to be this dog? Here we go. Oh. Here's Izzy. Here's the dog. You can be this dog. I don't know what this is. What is that? Chase Kids. What's that? Who wants to be the skateboarder? Who, which adult? I'll just sit on it. I'll just sit on it. Alright, let's make, uh, you guys go. Well, if you're a, if you're a prop, come on this side. Character. You can be a tree too, Jeremy. Just throw the tree in their way. Alright. Alright, paper, rock, scissors, see you guys first. One, two, three, shoot. By the way, one, two, three, shoot. That was low. One, two, three, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, good job! Oh. Oh. Alright, I'm going to go for Chia. You want to go first? You know what? Alright, she's winning. She is referring to the second half. Okay, here's your paper special. Alright. Come on, Chia. 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 Because you're about to get chased by dogs, and um, your goal is, in as quickly as you can, you cannot go past this line all the way down. Okay? There's no line. it. Visualize it. See it. This is the road. You have to throw it up. You already passed it. You passed the road. Yeah, this is your road. And these are your mailboxes. Got it? Yeah. Got it? Okay. Well, you got more doorways. You have to throw your papers in there as quickly as you can. You come down and back, but you have obstacles. You got dogs chasing you. There's trees. They're walking around trees. No, but you got skateboarders. There we go. That good tree can be our line. You got. You should have enough to go down and back. I'm pretty sure you do. Yeah, you got. They got way too much. They have to go in the mailbox. That's how you get points. And as quickly as possible. Remember. This is my this road. Is your road. That's the road. Yeah. Are you ready? We have some paperwork music. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Oh, 
Say it loud. In the Bible. Great. That is awesome. Mm. Okay, so our story today comes from the book of Acts. Now, do y'all know who wrote the book of Acts? Luke. Acts. Luke. No. Paul. Nope. Luke. Acts. Jesus. Who wrote the book of Luke? Luke. Okay. Luke wrote the book of Acts. Right? So, this is after Jesus resurrects and goes back to heaven. God sent his Holy Spirit and the early followers of Jesus, what we call the church, and it grew in numbers daily. Now, not everybody was happy that the church was growing in numbers, especially this one guy. He was a leader of the Romans. His name was King Herod, and he was out for trouble for all the followers of Jesus. Thank you. 
<laughs> now, on the night before Peter's trial, Herod was doing everything to make sure none, none of this funny business was happening, like people breaking out of prison and nobody ever knew, or, you know, people just magically appearing outside of the cell wall. You know, strange, bizarre things. So, he had Peter on lockdown. Check this out. One, three. I need some more volunteers. Millie, go ahead. The night before you were going to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, chains, two chains held him there, without stood guard at the entrance. But that didn't matter though. Oh, wait. Yeah. 
He explained how the Lord had brought him out of prison. Tell James and the others about this, he said. Then he went to another place. In the morning, when the soldiers saw Peter was gone, they were completely bewildered, dismayed. They were baffled. Well, Herod... He was lying. He was bad. Y'all seen Alice in Wonderland, the Mad Hatter? Yeah. But, you know, but he was actually on fire, his man. <laughs> I was inside out. He ordered an all-out search for Peter and the death of the guards. Uh-oh. Wasn't that a crazy story? Yes. I mean, when we started, we were talking about faithfulness to skills, right? Even though faithfulness and even though faithfulness is more than just learning a skill, we can certainly learn something from these, from these things, right? In order to play the sport you play, to do the hobby that you do, it took you showing up to practice day in and day out. Like, you play football, right? Takes, takes time, right? You gotta show up every day, do workouts every day, pads, no pads, helmet, no helmet, like you gotta go out there and work, right? But to get good, you took, you took practice. In, the, <laughs> in this story, we see faithfulness everywhere, but not just in a skill. It's something way bigger than what you do now. Peter was faithful to God. He was faithful to his mission to God, even to go to prison for it. The early church was faithful to pray for Peter all night long while he was in prison. God was faithful to rescue Peter and to keep him safe in order to continue leading the church. Now, for the last several weeks, we've been talking about different fruits of the Spirit. Faithfulness is a fruit that God demonstrates in our lives the more and more we learn to live like Jesus. We see it more in his story, and God wants to show it through our story as well. Now, as we go into worship in small group today, I want you to think of the question, how can you be someone people can count on? Think about that. Can somebody count on you if they need something? Can your mom count on you if she needs you to do something? Can your teacher count on you? I know that sounds like you're going to be a teacher's pet, but can a teacher count on you for something? Yes. Yes. Wherever, wherever you are, God might be calling you to be faithful, no matter if you're in school, if you're in church, even at home with a friend. There's an area in your life where someone needs you not to give up. Okay? All right, I'm going to pray, and then we're going to, I'm just going to leave worship, I don't know. Um, <laughs> we're going to pray, and then we'll go into worship, okay? All right, God, we thank you for your story today. Thank you that your word is alive and that it is active and that we see it every day in our everyday lives. Father, we thank you for being faithful to us, even when we're not faithful. Lord, just thank you. And as we go into this time of worship and reflecting on your word today and then your word that lives forevermore, we just thank you for your goodness and your faithfulness and your fruit of the, and the fruit of the Spirit that lives in each and every one of us. We thank you for Jesus, and it's in his name we pray all these things. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.